Hey guys! We're here on Monday to check out two videos. We're starting off with Shrapnel, a band that reached out to us and asked us to check out Dark Age. Uh, hopefully still their latest video. I don't know, between the time they asked us to check out the video and now, they could have easily have released another video, so you never know. These things take time. There's a long waiting list, so everybody be patient. So, Shrapnel, we've never checked out one of their videos on the channel. That is changing today with Dark Age. Are you ready for this? Yeah. All right, let's rock and roll.
Can I go first? Uh, I'm going to let you go first on the song, but I need to talk about the video. Because it looks like they hired a knockoff of Courtney from uh, Spirit Box because they obviously couldn't afford the original. So I I'm sure they contacted her. It's like, hey, we would love you to have you on a track. But how much do you charge for your vocals? Oh, that much? All right, what about just to show up in the video and walk around? Oh, that much? All right, we'll find somebody that looks like you. And this is the result. I, I just wanted to throw that out there. Okay. I, I don't know. That's kind of... Because to me, that was kind of irrelevant. Having the girl walking around, like, I, did you get anything from it? I, I didn't get anything from it. Her tattoos look cool. You, you know what would make this whole thing cooler? If they threw weed in that bonfire... And they burned some weed while they were playing. But then the the just... video would have started one way, would have finished a completely different way. I know, but, but if you burn it all in the fire, then you're just wasting it. Oh, don't you get like some vapors to come from it or something? I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a connoisseur when in burning weed. And I'm wondering, are you? But you know, I guess that's a conversation I know for people. a <laughs> That's a conversation for a different video. I, I always feel like when you burn the weed, you know, the smoke, the you know, no, it doesn't work. Maybe, out. but I in. In Hash, a, maybe? In my humble opinion, it's waste okay. of product. <laughs> okay, in your humble... All right, fair enough. What did you think about this song? It was really good. I actually really I enjoyed myself with this song, especially throughout the song, it getting faster and faster as the song progressed, and at the end there, it hitting the peak of its speed. I agree. Um, and it was just... It, it just gets you into it, man. It, it, it gets you... Like, the, the, first couple, uh, the first couple minutes of the song, it's more... Uh, it's fast, but it gets you... Kind of tipping your toes in, and you're enjoying everything around you. There's there's a few moments where the drums come in with a little bit of heaviness. Exactly, and I think those are the parts where it really pushes you into the song, and you get your, the full experience. I think it reached its peak after the solo. Yeah, after the solo is when the song gained a little bit more. But even substance. with the guitar, the the little the guitar's very chunky. Very chunky, but having those little parts, um, those little melodies coming out of nowhere, and then overlapping each other, trying to outdo each like. Those I, I really, really enjoyed. Because it, it just showed that these guys are amazing musicians. What did you think about the guitar solo? The guitar solo... Oh. It, it, I, that, that did probably... That, that probably led into the peak, like you were saying. That was the lead into the peak of the song. Uh, the guitar solo was amazing. Um, because up until that solo, there's a few times where the song feels like it's getting heavier, but then it drops back down again to the more melodic approach, more melodic all, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but then after that solo, it, it it's pedal to the metal, and it never really comes back down to how melodic it was before. It's it's more aggressive. It that, becomes yeah, more aggressive. Yeah, uh, that that exactly what it is. It, once that solo hits, it never. That was that was your light. That was the end of your light of the song, end of your melody and everything. Now it's just about kicking ass and speed. For the rest of the song. Yeah, I felt that way too. I really enjoyed the chunkiness of the guitars. Uh, I, I almost wanted the drums to be a little bit cons more consistently heavy from the beginning all the way to the end. Because the few times where the drums got heavier, I, I, I felt like the song got stronger. And I don't mean that because it, it became heavier. But overall, it gained a little bit more volume. volume. I was going to say it became, it became a little... Because the vocals are, are super melodic. There's a few times when it gets a little bit raspier yeah. and, and it gets a little bit more uh, crunchier with the overall sound. But overall, but that raspy, beginning... The raspiness is more of um, a deep scream. So it's not, you know... It it's not as consistent. Yeah, it doesn't give the song that much volume. It, it, it just kind of... It's, it's still like a, low. Yeah, it's a piercing sound still. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So... I, I almost wanted the drums to be more consistent with that with that heaviness, not because of the heaviness that they're giving the track, but because of the volume that they're creating. They're making the song feel a little bit more substantial because overall the song uh, at times it feels like super melodic, like just really straight up like a melodic like metal track. You know what I mean? So and and I don't mind that, but I feel like if the drums were a little bit consistently heavy in the background, would have balanced out the song a little bit more. And it would have given the song, uh, it would have made the song perhaps more linear. It wouldn't give these ebbs and flows. It would make, make it a little bit more flat. But I think it would make the song more substantial. And then when you have that closing after the solo that's that's heavy and, and gets going, it, it, it would feel more like a continuation of what came before. Right now it feels like a like almost like a break. Th there's a song up until the solo and then there's a song after the solo, if you know what I mean. I like both parts, but I wanted the drums, not the guitars, not the vocals. Everything else can stay the same. But the drums just a little bit uh, sounding bigger. You know what I mean? Giving more volume, giving more presence. Making the song bigger. Yeah, yeah. Making the song having like a, a bigger footprint, if yeah. you know what I mean. Like it, I, I feel like it would make the song overall 
more memorable because it would have been more of a head-banging track from the get-go all the way to the end. And the way it is right now, you, you bang your head to it, it's, it's, it's a nice track, but those melodic stretches kind of take a little bit of the air out of the balloon. And then you're kind of waiting for it to come back again and then you get into it and then it, goes, it gets taken away, then you get back into it and it gets taken away and then after the solo, then you can really go for it. So I, I feel like it would be been a, a more balanced track all around if the if the drums were a little bit heavier from the beginning all the way. Because even in those through. melodic parts, you'd still be able to bang your but head. Yeah, yeah, it would still be melodic because the guitars are on top, the vocals are not like heavy vocals, so everything would still be melodic. Imagine but at least like there's one else in the background. Yeah, to... just to bring the song down a little bit, yeah. just to bring some put some weight on it a little bit. That's all. But I enjoyed the track. It yeah. was a fun track. It was a fun track. Uh, all right, guys, this is it for this video. Let us know your thoughts on the song on the video. We'll be back with another one right after this one. See ya. See ya.